Now, if you're a bit squeamish, this is a really good time to look away. You can tell a lot about someone from their blood just by looking at it. The brighter, the better, because red is the colour of the cells that carry oxygen to feed our body. Red blood cells are vital for the survival of all kinds of vertebrates, except one. It lives where the sun never shines, but that's not why it looks so ghostly and pale. So what have we got here? Well, these are fish from the Antarctic, and they've just been thawed. Put your finger in there. Oh, that's almost painful, actually. Uh -huh. That's so cold. And yet that would probably be too hot for these fish and probably lethal for this one. Now, what is that? This is an ice fish, and it is unique in the vertebrate world in that it has no red blood cells. So how do they survive? It's got a number of unique adaptations that are only found in this fish. Its heart is very powerful and pushes out large quantities of blood with each stroke. Its efficiency is, is approaching that of a mammal's heart. Uh, its blood is very thin, so it pushes around the body very rapidly without resistance. Uh, there's much more blood in this fish. There's three to four times more blood in this particular group of fishes than there are in anything else. Um, the capillaries are much wider, so they're not being constricted. The blood's not being forced through such a small gap. And it's able to absorb oxygen not only through these very wide um, gill lamellae here, but also through the skin. Antarctic species like the ice cod and the plunderfish have red blood cells, just like humans. And that makes their gills look pink. Not the ice fish, though. No red blood cells means their gills are white. So what are you going to do here? You're gonna... We're going to open up and uh, you'll see for yourself what the inside of this fish is like. Everything is white. Yeah. There's the liver. There's no redness at all, is no, there? Nothing at all. And this is the sort of the stomach area, This is the is stomach it? area, and if we were to cut further up into here, we'd find that the heart was white. In some species, it's a pale green. Let's have a look inside this little plunderfish here. Straight away, I can see sort of pinkiness there, mm. slightly orange. And we pull out the liver, and you can see, compare the liver with yeah. the liver. And you can see that blood vessel there that running into the liver, whereas this one, it's quite transparent. And so in the future, are you expecting undiscovered types of fishes to arrive from Antarctica? Every year since the observers have been bringing me material for the past 10 years or more, they've brought back something new. It's either a new species or something new to the Ross Sea that's never been seen there before. That must be really exciting. Oh, it's fabulous. Although Antarctic waters are freezing, these beasties will never be frozen, thanks to their unique adaptations. And they're just some of the weird and wonderful creatures that call Antarctica home. Who knows what'll come out of the depths next time.